When was the last time you did Giant Form Super Battle Road? Last time I did it, on video, was September 28th, 2019. What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami 4, another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are bringing a full rainbowed Giant Form team, except for the friend unit, to show off the AGL Tapion EZA. With his EZA, he goes up from a 150 support to a 160, not support, but leader skill, for Giant Form. Also, extra turn for Giant Form for all your allies. Cause immense damage, lowers attack and defense. Attack and defense plus 120, reduces damage to C by 50%. Attack plus 80, 150% or below, and then transforms into Harutagarn, you know the rest. I am doing this to show off the unit on his own without the LR Tapion to accompany him. Obviously, he is the best lead for Giant Form, so this is the best opportunity to show off the category again. There's a reason why I never do this. I never go back to this category because number one, it's boring. Number two, it's so slow because of these transformations. Giant Form is the, one of the most obsolete mechanics in Dokkan now. It's aged so poorly. There is no use in having Giant Form other than stalling and just making the fight go longer. So I don't like it, um, but it's worth doing because the last time I did this, I was at, I think, under 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to check out that video, I'm going to put that in the description. Go check it out. I sound different. There are some edits in there because I had more time back then. The sound quality is weird, so go check it out. But let's jump in with this team. Bergamo is one of the better Link Buddies, so I'll have Bergamo and AGL Tapion on one rotation. We'll have Demigra on the other one. Demigra has a key Link, so he'll gain extra for his super attack. Same with Bergamo. Everybody else, actually no, uh, Cooler does share a key Link as well. But I'm just bringing the rest to fill out the roster. Cumber is here for stunning, because if he gets hit with an attack, he could stun the entire team if they're all super units. And then Tora can heal us. He provides stat and key support. So let's jump in. The friend unit is 79%, and I want to run this as quickly as possible. I want to speed run this, and I use the term speed running very loosely. But I want to get through this as quickly as possible so that I just don't have to deal with this ever again. <laughs> so I'm hoping that Cumber here can stun everybody, because if he can, that would be very nice. If he doesn't stun, I'd like him to greatly lower the attack of that STR unit, because that retaliation would actually hurt. We'll have... Uh... Yeah, we'll have Demigra go after Gohan, get some good damage in. And no attack for Tora. That's fantastic. So let's see how this first turn goes. Absolutely no links <laughs> among any of these guys. That is giant form for you. Alright, I don't... Oh, wait. Was I paying attention? Did we stun everybody? He might have stunned everybody. Are they stunned? Yeah, they're stunned. Cumber stunned them all. That will help with the speed run because now they won't waste my time with their animations. Perfect. His stunning effect only lasts for the turn, though. It doesn't last for two turns. All right, so here we go. Um, Goku is nerfed a little bit. I am taking a bit of a... Ch no, I shouldn't take a chance. We shouldn't be that stupid. Um, so I'm going to have Tapion go first. We'll nerf STR Goku. Then we'll have Bergamo go. Bergamo probably won't super. He does have 20 on his additional, so maybe he will. We'll just have everybody else focus on Goku. He gets 30% attack and defense with every attack that he receives. Okay, oh, well, we're getting supered, but it's Piccolo. That actually would have been fine to have on, on uh, Bergamo. Kind of a lame start. This is just what you expect. Like, if, if anything, if you want to make the run more consistent, bring some key enhancing items. You're not going to need to recover health. Like, you're going to be fine. All right, so he stacks once himself. That's good. So that will help this go a lot faster. Let's see how much he does to Piccolo. 400,000, dude. All right, here we go. There's the stacking. We are four minutes in now, and I'm already bored. I hate this category. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, I forgot Gohan is there. Gohan hurts. All right. So I think uh, to improve our chances to stun and just make this go faster, I'm going to once again try to nerf and kill him. And then we shall do the same thing with Tapion. Unfortunately, that means no super attack for Demigra, but it is what it is. Oh, we stunned them all. <laughs> First attack. All right, cool. They're all stunned again. So that attack on the STR was a waste. That's fine. This should kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. 
Well, we got the additional. Oh, no, we didn't get the additional. That was Demigra killing him. Okay, cool. Goku's dead. Now we can have Bergamo actually stack. So we'll have Bergamo go first. He'll gain 90% attack and defense. Then Tapion can go second. And probably... No, I want to I wanna optimize my damage. So we'll just have everybody go after Piccolo. Gohan will be the last person we, we target. Boop. Boop. Oh, he's actually... Okay, wow. All right, Gohan, I see you. Being a little brat, I see. Everybody on this team, if I'm not mistaken, except for Bergamo and Demigra, lowers enemy attack. And that was always the play. You had to spread the damage around so that you take less damage because early on, without easy A's and all that, these units were not that capable. And then when they needed to transform, they would, and then you would do the rest of the work. All right, so Piccolo is almost dead. But I'm more interested in having Tapion just kill, or at least nerf Gohan. Gohan is becoming a problem. So I'm actually gonna target Gohan with both. We'll have Gohan get targeted by everybody. No. Maybe maybe Cooler can kill Piccolo. We nerfed him once. He will get nerfed again with Cumber. Cumber will greatly lower his attack. And then if Piccolo attacks and we can stun everybody, that saves the meta Cooler. It didn't stun everybody, okay. I don't think Gohan's gonna super though. Good damage, good try. Oh wow, Piccolo's attacking, jeez. Are we in danger? Well, we're definitely in danger of Gohan supers. All right, he's not. Ooh, we're getting Demigra's transformation. I haven't seen this in a long time. Oh, cool. Demigra, what does this guy do when his Key plus, <laughs> key plus one, okay. Rare chance to stun. Oh, he actually, okay, interesting. All right, let's kill Gohan. Gohan can go die. Let's do that, and let's do that. Two super attacks. Well, at least you get to see some interesting characters that you wouldn't normally see. So this should hopefully kill Gohan. Oh yeah, he's dead, he's dead. For sure he's dead. Ooh, he's dead on the second turn. Okay, second attack. We might be able to kill Piccolo right here. And we're done. Nice job, Demigra. Okay. Going into this turn, we will gain 18% health thanks to Tora. So we're at 199 health right now. That will go up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just want to run through this event fast. What are you doing to me? All right, let's just optimize the damage. Let's target Piccolo. Six key? Six. Oh. See how annoying this is? All right. We're just gonna chill for five minutes, folks. Yeah, do all your attacks. Cool. There is no passive for Harugarn, I believe. Let me check. I don't even want to talk. I'm so bored of this. I wish there was a fast forward. Just skip the entire turn. All right. Uh, what's the passive on this guy? Oh, just evades. Right. All right. We have a super attack inbound. Cool. We'll go after Piccolo. Can we get another one? I don't believe we can. Oh, oh. Oh, so close. All right, hopefully we can get that 20 additional to kick in. Give me a crit. Either a crit or give me two additionals. Okay, so this should... Yep, good. Nice damage. We got the additional there on the first attack. Very nice. If we can get one additional on one of these two, I'm pretty sure we can kill Piccolo. Additional. Uh. Alright, good news. We're transforming back. 
So like I said, we should heal now. Yep, 274,000. We had 199 before. It is now 274,000. I don't want to take a chance and have the Cumber go first. So I'm going to have Tapion go first. Probably is going to kill Piccolo. And then we'll have Cumber attack whoever's up after that. And then when Vegeta strikes, he should be able to stun the entire team. And, ooh, nice healing here. Oh, I just realized we have a Dokkan attack. If there's a way that we can save... Okay, I have to stop picking up matching orbs now. If we can save that Dokkan attack for the third round, that'll just make everything go faster. Sweet. All right. So he's dead. Now we're going to greatly lower the attack of the Vegeta. And then when Vegeta retaliates, it won't hurt nearly as much. Can we stun? I think we stun. I believe we stunned. I saw Goku's stun marker. So I think we stunned everybody. Okay, so now we'll have Bergamo get stacking. Only problem is they don't have key. Dude, I hate this team. <laughs> have I mentioned that? Have I mentioned that I hate this team? You might be shocked to find that out. All right, let's have Bergamo just go with the flow, whatever. Fine, so be it. Six, I gotta save that, okay. So let's nerf Goku, and then let's stun Goku. There's actually a chance we could die this turn. How do we not have a Tapion on rotation yet? Did I not did I not get all that sorted out? Oh my god, we might lose. 143. Oh. Oh no, if we don't stun him, I think we're going to lose. Oh, he dodged. <laughs> okay, no, this this is actually a good thing. This saves our run. So, I, I can't complain. Alright, do we have an ultra uh, regular super attack? We don't. Uh, who's the bigger threat? Probably Goku is the bigger threat at this point. So, we'll just do that. Focus on Goku. One super attack out of three. This is giant form, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it works. This is what you have to put up with, and uh, it's fun, yeah. It's great. It's great. It's great. Oh. At least the run's going smoother with that Tapion tanking. Okay, I think we can get one more super attack if we play our cart. There it is. There's an extra super attack. Can we get a second one? No, we can not. Ooh! Oh, almost. Almost. Alright. Damage is piling up. If we get a crit, he'll die next turn. If we don't get a crit, there's a good chance he won't die next turn. But I don't think Demigra is coming back for a little while. No crit there. No additional either. Bring it back. All right, so I don't know why, but my Tapions are all screwed up now, which is bad, very bad. We also are almost dead. But the good news is that both our Tapions have now skyrocketed their attacks to 80% more. So what I'm thinking we do is we just try to kill Goku, and then uh, we just pray that we don't need to have nerfed the Vegeta at all. But if we do get hit, at least we'll be able to tank for 50% of the damage. So I don't have to use an item here because I think we'll be all right. That's bad. That's bad. All right, so this is going to kill him. If we can get an additional, that'll really help. But if we don't, we cannot get hit with a super. Wow, we got an additional. Okay, good. That greatly lowers the attack of the Vegeta. Vegeta's super attack would still kill me, though. So we need to get hit with a regular hit. Did it stun? I don't know if it did. But now we're safe. Because combining that greatly lowering attack with the damage reduction of this guy, even if we get hit with a super, we're not going to die. Everybody's <laughs> just running. Hey, we haven't used an item yet, right? So this is a good thing. Look at me suddenly being a fan of Giant Form. Oh, we got some supers. We got some supers. This 
might have saved not only the run, but also the Dokkan attack. I might have to formally issue a statement retracting my hate of Giant Form. Because <laughs> these transformations are actually coming in pretty clutch. So you guys are getting to see the benefits and the, the drawbacks of Giant Form. Right now you're currently seeing the benefits though. One more turn of Tora. Super attack. Super attack. And super attack. Wow. Dokkan really played me. Dokkan played me. He attacked on the first turn. Okay, good to know. With two more attacks, we could legit kill him here. I kind of hope we don't. Oh. Because I actually want to get that Tora heal before we... Dude, we just... We just saved the Dokkan attack. Unfortunately, though, we might have saved it too hard because now we don't have the Dokkan attack guaranteed for this next turn. I think I'll have to use a... Never mind. <laughs> Everybody's just going to transform now. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get going again. Uh, I guess we'll go after Tapion. We'll go after Tapion. This guy's passive is key plus one. Three attacks inbound on Tapion. Let's see how much we do. I do like this very basic animation. It looks pretty cool. Is that an additional or is that... I think it is an additional. It is. Alright, so we got an additional there. Cool. That's three attacks on Tapion. Look at how cute this damage is. It's, it's terrible. It's nothing. 400,000 per hit. It's adorable, right? Boiling Bug. We did a grand total of 1,600 damage <laughs> to Tapia. Alright, are we getting more? Uh, I think that's it. No, no, no. We got one more. One more attack. Uh, can we get a second one? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> so two more super attacks. So we'll do about 800,000 more to this Tapion. This is adorable. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is attacking early. I gotta keep that in mind. 398,000. God. That's so much damage. Oh, you know what I just realized? We are gonna heal when Tora comes back. Is Tora coming back this turn? Or is he gonna come back next turn? We still are at 80,000 health. I do have to keep that in mind. And out of all of these attacks, we sadly did not get a single instance of him stunning. In this form, he's actually able to stun with a rare chance to do so. Yeah, okay. So we got nothing. Kind of bad. We do get a heal, though. What's the heal from? Oh, Revival. Revival heals us. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and nerf somebody. Let's nerf Tapion. Let's stun Super Saiyan 3. Uh, yeah. Let's stun Super Saiyan 3. And then let's nerf Super Saiyan 3? No, 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 no. I'm going to go after Tapion. This is a really dangerous play. This is a really dangerous play. 55, 6, 11, whatever, 23. Cool. I'm playing it this way for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to use an item because I want to keep our health below 50% because the chances of us getting another giant form actually are pretty high. I don't remember all the passives, but generally speaking, when your health is below 50, giant forms will tend to trigger. We did not get the stun. So if Super Saiyan 3 Goku actually attacks... We are toast. Stun. Oh, good. We stunned. No, we didn't. Oh, no. We stunned. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Good. That Cumber Stun came in super clutch. This is taking forever. This fight is dragging out. I was on such good pace. And now look at what's happening. All right. So let's just kill Tapion. Tapion should be dead here, and then we'll switch to Trunks, probably. My last video took 36 minutes. My original Giant Form video 
took 36 minutes. I did use items. I am not using items here. Now we're going to sit through all these dodges. All right. Tapion's gone. That's good. Trunks is the easiest one. So the next target is going to have to be Super Saiyan 3. All right. So now let's focus all of our efforts on Super Saiyan 3. Target him. Boop. And then we'll target him. Boop. And, yeah. Some crits would be nice, you know. Just, just saying. <laughs> so at this point, what do you think? Do you hate Giant Form or do you like Giant Form? Because it's actually saved my hide quite a bit on this third fight. And uh, I feel, I feel kind of ashamed for for bashing these guys. Oh, we got one more turn. Okay, we got one more turn of giant form. Let's make it count. We have no super attacks coming in, none. Oh, jeez. All right, no super attacks coming in. I think on this next rotation we're getting a Bergamo, so that's why I'm leaving those physical orbs there just to heal us a little bit. I think this next turn we're going to get Bergamo, Tapion, and uh, Tora. Tora's heal is going to be very important. And that is all the damage we're doing today. Alright, let's change back. I don't want to have to use an item, but I might need to. Yep, called it. Okay. Good heal. We got that heal from Tora. Excellent. So, this is actually really good. Because we're going to be able to tank all of this, and we're getting a Dokkan attack. Perfect. Alright. So, we're going to attack Goku. Then we'll use Bergamo's orbs to boost up that Dokkan attack and heal us. Boom. That is going to be how we end this. A Dokkan attack with Tapion. We're fine. No item run achieved. So, let's do this right now. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Oh, what? Go all out. Messed that up. Crit. Oh, wow. 3.5 mil. Jeez. All right, yeah. Next turn we win. Not this turn. Next turn. Cumber's going to bully Trunks now. With only one target, we're going to greatly lower his attack, and it's over. Can we not kill him? Never mind. We can't even kill Super Saiyan 3. He's not dead yet. All right, there he goes. All right, now we can bully this guy. All right, so tape, we'll have uh, Demigra go first, then Tapion, then Cooler. That's how it's done. No items. I can't even say first try. I've done this before, so this is a no item second try. Actually, third try. Pretty sure I took a couple of tries on the original. All right, there you go. So that is Giant Form Super Battle Road with the Easy Aid Tapion. As far as the stats go, the differences are not that much. It's mainly about the passive. You gain a <laughs> 21, 21 minutes and I've set a new record. Yeah, the yeah, previous one was 34, there you go. So obviously the tanking was a huge benefit. I'd say the second best unit on this run was actually the Cumber for that stunning. But everybody here is is really nice together. And as you saw, when you're below 50%, the chances for your transformations kicked in quite a bit. Mainly because of Tapion, but also um, Demigra and all these other guys. So it can be a fun run, I guess, if you have the patience for it. I It drove me crazy, I gotta say. But there you go. That is the showcase for Giant Form 2.0. Folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments your thoughts on those clutch transformations and have you beat Giant Form Super Battle Road? Because there are some of you who are newer players who just never wanted to try it. Are you going to try it now that you've seen what AGL Tapion is capable of? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let each of know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to transform responsibly.